Hello guys, how are you today? Hello, hello again. Today I want to talk about how to know that we are open for receiving. Guys, how to know that we are open for receiving? Hello guys, I am here in the cold Norway by the river. It's freezing, but I'm trying to deliver a message here to you. I hope I can make it through the cold. Guys, it's about receiving. I've been talking a lot about receiving many times in my videos to be an excellent receiver. It's easier, guys, how to know that you are open for receiving. Are you aware about it, guys? It's easier. First of all, we must know ourselves. You are confident enough that you are open for receiving. Yes, guys, it's all again about mindset, about our life, the way we live day by day. Yes, if you know yourself that you are a good giver, probably we are not thinking about it. You are also an excellent receiver. Why? Because it is says here, we must acknowledge every day what we are doing, what our plans in our life. Why you do the giving? That is one question, guys, to acknowledge as well that you are open for receiving. It says here, guys, the moment you give something to others, the moment you share something to others, that means also we must acknowledge that you are open for receiving. We must begin to ask questions with ourselves why we gave. First of all, guys, in my situation, I give because it makes me happy and I give when I feel like doing it. And most of all, I do not give if I don't feel good and satisfied with myself. Again, it's about being yourself, making yourself happy in what you are doing. If giving can make you happy, didn't do the give yes of course we are not expecting expecting something in return but it says here guys we must acknowledge that we are open for receiving as well yes remember that it is written in the bible the more you give the more you receive but guys, in my case, I'm not expecting something in return, but I always surprised that God gave me some blessings in some other way, not from the same person, but from the other source as well. So guys, it's about giving. It's Christmas season. It's holiday. Many of us give a lot and many of us receive a lot. But have you ever say thank you from the deepest of your heart that you are a good and excellent receiver i did not notice i or else i just take this for granted way back many years ago because i give i feel happy i feel satisfied when i give i'm not expecting something back in return but i am not acknowledging that i am open for receiving because I'm not expecting something in return. So therefore, I am not aware about it. As I read my book, guys, day after day, it is very important that we must acknowledge it. We must know it. We must feel it. That you are also an excellent receiver. And just saying thank you, it's a great thing. Saying thank you every day in everything we are receiving. Saying thank you in everything what we have at the moment. It's a great deal that you are an excellent receiver. That you are acknowledging that you are ready for receiving. And you are open for receiving. Guys... It is Christmas and we give a lot. 
many of you give a lot. But it's all also about guys in during the Christmas. You give, then you receive, you give, and just simply say thank you. And thank you without any feelings in it. Because it's about it's exchanging gift. But guys, take a moment of yourself when you say thank you in this holiday season that you are open for receiving, that you are an excellent receiver as well, and that you can feel the gratefulness within you that you are open for receiving. It's really difficult sometimes to emphasize the whole thing, guys, because we take it for granted. We give and we receive. It's normal, especially when our friends and relatives involved. It's just normal to give and take. But guys, even it is your family or even it's just a small thing. Seeing the thank you, feel the feeling that you deserve it. You have the feelings that you are open for receiving in anything you want, in anything and everything you are wishing in your life. So guys, again, this is Christmas and we give a lot. So guys, again, please don't give if you don't feel like giving. Don't do that because it doesn't work with the law of love. It says it doesn't work at all if you are not feeling it in the right way. Don't do that if it is only an obligation. Giving is not an obligation. Remember that God and the universe is moving through us anytime everywhere and in every circumstances in everything we do god or the universe has our back and we are blessed when we share to others guys and most of all it is important that we are not expecting it in return because the universe or God they know it already and it will come back to you in its perfect timing from another person from another sources guys again it is your life think what can make you happy it sees here guys in knowing that you are open for receiving it's also about finding your own happiness what can make you happy is giving and receiving can make you happy for us filipinos many of us say no 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 it's okay no no it's okay even it is not okay so it is not right because you are not open for receiving just simply guys say thank you when there is a blessing say thank you and not say, no, 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 I don't need that. I don't need that. It's okay. It's okay. That is not the proper way. And many of us Filipino, we give something in return. And they say, oh, no, it's okay. Don't think about that and something like that. That is not a proper way. If you know yourself, if you know how to find your own happiness, you know also that you are open for receiving what happiness means to you what is giving means to you and what is receiving means to you all these things it's very important that we must contemplate it's just a simple words really but we must learn to contemplate it we must learn to know and understand really the word because finding our own happiness is in your life it gives you inspiration. It gives you motivation to keep on going what you want to be. Find your passion. Find your happiness. It is a part of opening for receiving. Because you cannot be happy if, er, if there is nothing. It is symbiosis. Guys, you give and you take. But the take is always in nature that it will come to you in its perfect timing of course we can ask help of course we can ask a favor it's okay to ask that but expecting something in return we must 
rely it to the universe or God because they are there for us all the time, giving us the opportunity, giving us the blessing when the right time comes. So guys, again, it's very difficult for me to explain this because it's all about being happiness, feeling the joy within you. Because when you are giving, you are happy, you feel satisfied, and it's expecting here that you must feel the same when you receive something and don't say no 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 i don't need that you don't need to give that to me no don't ever say that whatsoever the other person give back to you or something to offer accept it with full of gladness and happiness and say thank you from the deepest part of your heart again guys this is yundel have a merry christmas i am only sharing with you from my reading it's about self-development it's about living day by day with the law of love remember the law of love the law of attraction is all around us all the time it's working around us in every circumstances in our life so believe in yourself be a good giver and an excellent receiver feel the feeling that you are also open for receiving in anything you want in everything you want in your life you deserve it we all deserve it all all we have to know is to acknowledge it and say thank you from the deepest part of your heart again guys this is yundel thank you so much for watching me i'm freezing here but i'm happy to share this video today today thank you so much guys and i love you all and bye-bye have a happy holidays